Hello, this is our first fourth video number four in the series of the LilyGo TTGo inter Ethernet, Internet PoE Power over Internet board, which enables us to perform a Wi Fi and Ethernet communication. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the code written in ESP IDF 5 which implement POST request via Ethernet communication. So the board is connected via Ethernet to the switch from here and we are communicating via the USB, USB port here. We are writing our code and receiving uh, the messages. So like with ordinary uh, ESP32 development board. The code here is a standard code for ESP32 and uh, the code can be derived for different boards which can enable us to implement the Ethernet communication with the ESP32. Um, I will be relatively brief here because we have three previous videos which explained different aspects of this but just to finalize, we are based on the SIMSOIT devices repositories. In this repository, we have four, uh, four uh, um, code uh, files, where with the first file, it's uh, in the first video, we checked the software and hardware compatibility of the board just to see that we can initiate a basic Wi-Fi communication and have a POST request so the hardware is working okay. On the second video we added the ping functionality and performed ping via Wi-Fi connection on this board and on the third video knowing that our hardware is working okay and the ping software is okay we performed ping via Ethernet communication. Here in this video, we are closing the closing the uh, sequence from the first video and having the POST command via the Ethernet communication, and it is relatively short code snippet code file because um, we removed all unnecessary software to to which we use to check that those uh, things like hardware and the different protocols are working. So here is the final product. Okay. We have a POST via Ethernet, which is a relatively short file of uh, say 130 something lines. We copy it to our project and uh, let's uh, connect our board and run the file. Meanwhile we have the same includes. We left leave only the Ethernet portions. The Ethernet event handler, the IP event handler and the uh, Ethernet uh, connection and also added two files with POST handler and server in initiation. Now we can see that Ant Ethernet was initialized, it started, have a MAC address and also got an IP and this is our IP, this one. So we are going to Postman, uh, the main is only Ethernet connection and server initiation for POST command. So we are going to the server, to the postman, and, and here writing uh, the following 171 here, post. And let's see, now it's sending a request and a post response here. Post response from ESP. So we just demonstrated the very simple code of 100 and something lines which implement the POST uh, request via Ethernet communication inside ESP32. Thank you.